I already uh, told you about this unit vector. What is unit vector? A unit vector is a vector of magnitude unity. Is it correct? If that was your answer, then I would say it is wrong. A unit vector is not just a vector of magnitude unity. As the name itself says, it is a vector. It, whenever you talk about a vector, you need to think about two properties of the vector. One is a magnitude, the other is a direction. You commented only on the magnitude. You didn't comment on the direction. You should comment on both magnitude and direction. Because when you say it's a vector of magnitude unity, what about the direction? Say you have a vector A bar. And if I ask you to find out the magnitude, the, the unit vector for this vector A bar, obviously your answer would be AA cap which is equal to A bar by mod A bar. Is it correct? And if you go, if you use your definition like a unit vector is a vector of magnitude unity, when you take the magnitude mod A cap, so this would be mod A bar by mod A bar, this gets cancelled out, this is equal to 1, that's correct. But to, to have a magnitude unity, it need not be just A bar by mod A bar, it could be plus or minus A bar by mod A bar. Right? Even if it is minus A bar by mod A bar, still the magnitude is unity. Okay. That means, if the definition of unit vector is just a vector of magnitude unity, then it can have two directions. So, in general, the unit vector can have two directions. The plus indicates that the unit vector is along the direction of the vector it is in the direction of a bar minus indicates that it is exactly in the opposite direction of a bar so unit vector can be defined either in the direction of a bar or in the direction exactly opposite to the direction of a bar now we need to uh, restrict ourselves to one reference. So you can't have both of them even though both of them are valid. So we will con we will consider only plus a bar by mod a bar as a unit vector definition. So there are certain assumptions or you could say we we rest we restrict ourselves to certain certain notations and 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 also a certain conventions in this course so the first convention is the unit vector is always defined along the direction of the vector so that's the reason when i asked about the unit vector you thought about it as a bar by mod a bar so the actual definition of unit vector is it is a vector of magnitude unity defined in the direction of the vector so even though we don't we don't exp sometimes we don't explicitly say that that the unit vector is defined in the direction of the vector but when we say unit vector so it is implicit that it is defined along the direction of the vector but please be careful sometimes in examination he will ask you to find out a unit ve unit vector of a vector in a direction exactly opposite to that of a bar Given two points, if he says find the equation of the unit vector, don't jump to solve the problem. Read the question completely. You might say find the equation of the unit vector in a direction exactly opposite to the direction of a bar. Then you should use a cap as minus a bar by mod a bar. And what is mod a bar? Mod a bar in in Cartesian coordinate system is the magnitude of the vector, right? Mod a bar is equal to square root of ax square plus ay square plus az square. So, this is just a number, nothing more than that. 
Okay. Now, so let's erase the board and then start with vector algebra. Like I said, vector algebra deals with the addition and subtraction of vectors and also the scalar multiplication of some of the vectors. Given a vector a bar in Cartesian coordinate system, ax x cap plus ay y cap plus a z z cap, and we have constructed this vector, and we know what cap a x cap a y cap a z r, and also x cap y cap z cap. Given one more vector b bar, which is equal to b x x cap plus b y y cap plus b z z cap. Can you write down the expression for a bar plus b bar? What would be the expression for a bar plus b bar? This will be ax plus bx into x cap plus ay plus by into y cap plus az plus bz into z cap. So I suggest all I suggest you to make a note for yourself. So while you listen to this lecture, I want you to write down. Okay, so don't just look at the look at the uh, uh, lecture. Keep writing uh, yourself so that you will get used to this notation. Okay. After all, you are writing it. Okay, so we are trying to facilitate you with some with this with these concepts, and also we will help you by providing certain tips and techniques to crack the examination okay. and I will also uh, I will not write down each and everything but whichever uh, is important whichever is necessary I will anyway solve it and show it to you okay so a bar plus b bar would be ax plus bx into x cap plus a y plus b into y cap plus az plus bz into z cap can you tell me what is what would be b bar plus a bar b bar plus a bar would be bx plus ax into x cap plus by plus ay into y cap plus bz plus az into z cap and you know scalar addition is commutative right so 2 plus 3 same as 3 plus 2 because these are numbers ax ay az are numbers bx by bz are numbers so what is the relation between a bar plus b bar and b bar plus a bar so a bar plus b bar is a vector it is equal to b bar plus a bar. So what is this property known as? This is a commutative property of vector addition. This is the commutative property of vector addition. Now if you have one more vector c bar where c bar is equal to cx x cap plus c y y cap plus c z z cap write down the expression for a bar plus b bar plus c bar what would be the expression for a bar plus b bar plus c bar first add b bar with c bar and then the resultant vector you add it with a bar so that will give you ax plus bx plus cx into x cap plus a y plus b y plus c y into y cap plus az plus bz plus cz into z cap what about the expression for a bar plus b bar plus c bar First you add a bar with b bar and resultant you add with c bar. So again it would be ax plus bx plus cx into x cap plus ay plus by plus cy into y cap plus az plus bz plus cz into z cap. What is the relation between these two vectors? They are again equal to each other. And what is this property? So this is the associative property of vector addition. Associative property of vector addition. Okay. Now, if k is a scalar, is a number like 2, 3 or 4, what is k into a bar plus b bar equal to? k into a bar plus b bar is equal to k a bar plus k b bar. And what is this property? This is not distributive property. This is scalar multiplication property. Is scalar multiplication property. We will soon see distributive property as 
a bar dot b bar plus c bar is equal to a bar dot b bar plus a dot a, a bar dot c bar or a cross b plus c is equal to a cross b plus a cross c. That is the distributive property. 